And it's scaring not just her, but her children, too, after police swarmed their Champagne school. Good evening. I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. At least a dozen law enforcement vehicles surrounded Central High School this afternoon. Police were called for a report of a gun. WCI 3's Bryce Beeman is live outside of the school. Bryce, so what can you tell us? Well, a student told me the lockdown lasted for about an hour. It was lifted just before 2. Now, the district says everything is okay now, but it was frightening for students inside and for families wondering what's happening. There have been a lot of fights today, and I don't know. It's like today is a bad day. Like, um, a lot of drama has gone in the air. Champaign School District officials say those fights eventually led to a lockdown. They say one of the fights was large, and someone yelled there was a gun. That's when 911 was called. It's just hard for people to come to school and be safe, knowing, not knowing they can't be safe in school. Officers from Champaign, U of I, and the Sheriff's Office were sent to the building. The district says they searched while it was locked down, but didn't find anything, and the lockdown was lifted. Officials say police did not find any evidence to confirm if there was a weapon involved or fired during one of the fights. I don't want parents to worry about their kids not being safe going to school and stuff. But some parents say this does make them nervous to send their kids to school. I used to uh, hear about these situations in the news, but it never here in this town. But it's becoming a little bit too common in this town. She says she found out about the lockdown after her kids texted her. And it was scary receiving that message. Obviously, uh, the worst case scenario goes through your mind, right? She says it's unnerving to think a place of learning could be dangerous. They're feeling very uncomfortable. They are feeling, you know, they're feeling really scared. And, you know, I think they just, they just want to go home. They just don't want to stay here. They know that at this point, they know that it's not something very serious. They know that the situation is under control. But they just, they kind of just want to reset. They just want to go home. The district has been working on a way to enhance the security. Now, we told you the school board voted to try to get permanent metal detectors in both Centennial and Central High School. Now, they will vote on that contract on December 13th. In Champaign, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Bryce, thank you so much.